Hi, this is Stu Miniman with Wikibon.com. Happy to have with me Chad Sackich, who's the president of the EMC Converge Platform Division. Uh, Chad, thanks for joining me. And so VMware, you, you're good friends at VMware. Yeah, have re yeah. Have released vSAN 6.2. So, so, you know, sometimes the dot releases aren't the most exciting things, but tell us why this is important. You know, what I, I love about my VMware brothers and sisters is uh, great innovation, great engineering talent. The uh, marketing, you know, team is fantastic. But I think the product team should have called this like vSAN face melting edition, <laughs> not a dot two, you know, kind of release. Well, hey, the, the nice thing is that the releases now match the vSphere releases, right. so we're not confused with uh, where they are and everything. All right, so w what's the key? What are the new pieces? What, do you, what has you so excited? So, so, you know, the first thing that's huge is uh, broad use of all flash configurations. So we've, we've clearly crossed, you know, kind of a Rubicon into the era where uh, all flash configurations are the way to go, um, whether it's SDS or an external you know, storage array for transactional workloads in the data center. So all flash configurations that are broadened out. The second thing that I think is just huge is dedupe, compression, erasure coding, uh, you know, a whole slew of stuff that is focused around data reduction uh, and data efficiency technology. Yeah, really closing the gap. I think you know many of us like the idea of vSAN, and when we saw the roadmap, we said, "Oh, good! You're you're checking the boxes. You're getting there to mm -hmm. make this a solution that I could go to you know customers and say this is ready for production." And and uh, you know it, when you go into production, then there's a third little wave of stuff that sometimes people forget about, but yeah. people who are understand the persistence or the storage business look for. And NCRC checks and values, uh, uh, things like end-to-end uh, -end encryption models. Um, you know, those things are all really important. So the point being here that, you know, vSAN, uh, you, know, you know, has gone through version 1, 1 1.5, 6.0, 6.1, and now 6.2. Um, it is now the, the most widely deployed transactional SDS, you know, by customer count on the planet. I think Scale.io is number one by total capacity. We've got a smaller number of scale I.O. customers, but they're enormous. Customers are using vSAN and loving it. So, uh, one of the interesting things we look at, uh, I've talked to plenty of vSAN customers that they're happy with it, they love it. The go-to-market has been a little bit messy. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what have we learned? I guess, you know, we kind of, kind of had the Evo rail. Customers I talked to said yeah. it was confusing, it was expensive, it was, you know, you see certain companies dropping the product, you know, you're, you're sitting with the, the, the VCE and everything. Where, where, where's that stand in your This uh, is so clock? exciting. Yeah. Like, what day is it? Uh, well, so look, um, how, do I, how do I say this without crossing? Stay tuned, February the 16th, right. you know, uh, we've got some big things coming. And it's not a coincidence that it's days removed from the vSAN uh, launch. Uh, you know, we, 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 learned a, we learned a lot of things. Um, that while the majority of how customers deploy SDS starts as software only, yeah. in other words, they, they build their own stuff, um, Increasingly what they want is they want more and more turnkey. They want an integrated system. And so we've, we've discovered that there's a three stages of that continuum. Software only, great, fantastic. Uh, qualified with server, vSAN ready nodes, okay. And then fully hyper-converged appliances. With Evo Rail 1.0, we learned a lot of lessons. Um, uh, lots of great feedback from the customers. They basically told us loud and clear that they wanted the additional data services that are in vSAN 6.2. Uh, number two, they, they really like the hyper-converged appliance form factor, but the first version of it was too restrictive. So it basically said one size fits all, and customers said, I want smaller ones, I want bigger ones, I want more CPU, I want you know, less RAM, more RAM, more hard drive, less hard drive, et cetera, et cetera. So, uh, you know, there's a there's a line there of like how turnkey versus you know how optional and the systems are and we learn one thing more than anything else which is that in the appliance market it, it has got a very high degree of sensitivity around price elasticity in other words entry price point has to be as low as you can go um, and if you think about it basically with today's launch we've solved all of the gaps you know, in vSAN, in fact, have pulled ahead on almost all of the vectors. It always ha had the best VMware integration, the best performance, best simpli uh, simplicity and, and ease of use. 
Uh, it was lacking some data reduction services. Check, check, check. Uh, if only now we were able to pull it together into an absolutely phenomenal kick butt hyper-converged appliance. All right, so you're gonna wait it, make his wait till February 16th? Stay tuned, come in uh, February 16th, you're gonna see something face melting. All right, Chad, so appreciate the preview here and the explanation on 6.2. Uh, stay tuned, we'll have uh, more coverage as uh, you know, EMC, VCE, and VMware uh, roll out the solutions uh, around vSAN. Thanks so much for watching.